Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we'll study about time to live in Azure Cosmos DB. What does time to live setting does in Cosmos DB? So it actually has the ability to delete the items, items or the documents present inside a container. This can be set at the document level or at the container level. Okay. Here the definition states that with TTL, Cosmos DB provides the ability to delete items automatically from a container after a certain time period. And this time period we will define while configuring TTL. By default, you can set time to live at the container level and override the value on a per item basis. After we set the TTL at the container or the item level, Cosmos DB will automatically remove these items after the time period since the time they were last modified. Okay, the time to live value is configured in seconds. While configuration of the TTL, we have to give the time in seconds. Suppose we want to make the item expire after two minutes, that means we have to calculate that is 60 seconds into 2, 120 seconds and then give the time. When you configure TTL, the system will automatically delete the expired items based on the TTL value without needing a delete operation that is explicitly issued by the client application. Okay, no need to delete it by any explicit operation. Then comes the maximum value of TTL is this 21474836476 seconds. That is approximate 24855 days or 68 years. Then here comes the RU consumption. Deletion of expired items is a background task that consumes leftover RU's request units. Okay, that is the request units that haven't been consumed by the user request. Even after the TTL is expired, if the container is overloaded with requests and if there aren't enough RU's available, the data deletion is delayed. This is important to note. Data is deleted once there are enough RU's available to perform the deletion operation. Okay, though the data deletion is delayed, the data is not returned by any queries by any API after the detail has expired. Okay, so there are few pointers which is mentioned in the standard documentation by Microsoft under the Azure Cosmos DB documentation under NoSQL containers and items having this time to live section here separately present for the Cosmos DB. Okay, and then as we read above, this option could be set at the container level or at the item level too. So in this video, we will cover how we can set the time to live option at the container level. So let's go to the page from Microsoft where they have mentioned how we can configure time to live in container level through Azure portal. So here the configuration related details are given like how we can enable the TTL on a container in Cosmos DB using portal. So in this video, we'll cover the option of enabling detail in Cosmos DB using portal. So these settings we are going to do. Okay. So here they have mentioned like we have to go to the container in the settings and there we have the option of detail. So the three options at the detail is off. Okay. By default, it's off. Then there's an on option and on no default. Okay. On means the system will automatically delete the items based on the detail value in seconds you provide without needing a delete operation explicitly used by a client application. Then when default time to live is null, then your time to live is off. And this setting, these three points we will use when we'll enable time to live on the container using the SDK. Okay, software development kit. So let's go to the portal and enable detail on the Cosmos DB. Okay, so let's go to the portal. So here is the Cosmos DB and we are inside the data explorer pane. And we can see here the name of the Cosmos DB API, NoSQL API it is, which is having CK Cosmos DB as the Cosmos DB for the NoSQL. And if we open here, and if you open the database, we have here three containers. Okay, test container, test container two and three, one, two, three, three containers in total. And if you further open the containers, you could see the items, settings, stored procedures, UDFs and triggers. Okay, this is the by default structure of any container inside the NoSQL API of the Cosmos DB. Okay, let's click on the items here. Okay, 
so here we are in the item section of the first container and we could see here three items present let's click on the first item the first item is having some data okay this item is having some data present here then second item also holds some data third item also holds some data right similarly for the test container 2 if we go to the items level here also we have three items and then to test container 3 we could see here one item is present okay so let's go first to the test container 1 that is ck test container to the item section so here let's say we want to delete all the items present in the ck test container okay so what we'll do is so under the cosmos db we have to first see to which container items we want to perform the deletion okay so we know that we have to delete the three items which are present here in the ck test container so we'll go inside the settings of the ck test container so click on settings upon clicking the settings we could see the option which is present is time to live time to live off so by default the time to live option here was off okay then we have on no default and on okay so we in this video we will make the time to live option as on because we want to perform the deletion based on the container level through portal and here you could see the default value which is shown in seconds okay we don't want this default value instead we want it user defined okay so let's give it two minutes that is 120 seconds okay so after two minutes this so after two minutes all the documents present here okay that is all the items present here okay in this container ck test container should be deleted okay if we are clicking on refresh here we could still see three documents but upon giving the detail settings we could make the documents delete based on the time which we have mentioned here in the detail okay so we have given the detail on and the duration as 120 seconds important thing is that we have to save the settings so we'll click on the save button at the top present so that this setting is safe for this container let's click on save so here we can see that it is processing the settings are getting saved and now we can so once the setting is saved now we can see that it is saved the save button is disabled we will go and check at this container level the items if they are present or deleted and here after clicking refresh we couldn't see the documents the documents are deleted and if we try to query the documents which are present here by clicking on new sql query on this container let's execute the query we won't see any result okay let's try to perform it on ck test container 2 here we go to the ck test container 2 and in the settings if we go we have the time to live option as off okay and in the items if we go we have one item right this is the item and let's try to execute a sql query on this container execute query select star from c means from the entire container we want to see the result so we here we have one document okay here we have one document and we'll go to the settings of this container let me minimize first two containers so we'll go to the settings of the ck test container 3 and we'll make the time to live option on and we'll give the seconds this time let's say three minutes it's three minutes this time so in seconds we'll give the time we'll save the settings and once the settings are saved we can go to the items of the container 3 and we'll click on refresh after three minutes and we'll see that the item is gone as well as in the query 2 for the container 3 we'll execute and we won't see the data okay so let's wait for three minutes so here the item is gone right and if we go to the query 2 where we have queried for the items present in the container 3 let's execute the query we won't see the item now okay so this is how we can perform the detail operation at container level in cosmos db through portal okay so in the next video we will study how we can enable detail at the item level and how both detail at container and item level are related thank you for watching the video do let me know in comments if you have any queries 
Happy learning. Bye.